Hey crafty friends, I'm here to share the Hugs from Shelly paper pumpkin kit, which came out in May. So there you can see the pieces and the stamp set that came with the kit. I went and grabbed a book from the dollar store and I just painted these pages with an acrylic paint. And then I'm going to um, just stamp them with the Memento black ink and start building it from there. So that bird that you see, the blue bird, actually I did add that. That was not in the kit. That is from a brand new stamp set coming out um, in the new catalog. I think it's called, I don't know, I'll have to look that up for you. <laughs> I wanna say it's Bird Ballard, but I think that's the name of the product suite. I don't think that's the name of the stamp set. So you saw there that I punched a couple of flowers and that's another punch that's coming out. And I just used the envelope that came in the kit as the paper to punch out those flowers. And those cute little flower centers, those are gonna be in the catalog as well. Along with that colored vellum, the green colored vellum, I just punched it with our leaf punch. And I wanted to make a book that said grateful for you, dear friend, um, so I could give it to a really good friend of mine. Um, and I noticed that when I stamped it, I didn't let it dry all the way. So when you stamp, just heat set over that just to make sure that your ink doesn't smudge. So you can see it slightly where my grateful for you was smudged a bit. And after I put everything on there, I realized that I didn't like the way that looked. So the awesome thing about the book is I just flipped the page and started again. So I just have some acrylic paint here. I used a white and also like an antique white. So I did a couple of layers of paint and I wasn't fancy about it. I just grabbed a paper towel and I wiped it on and I wanted some texture. So I even dabbed it a bit to give it a little bit of texture and I heat set that and now you see that I'm starting over and I wanted the page that I had stamped previously I liked the flower up there in the corner so I decided just to tear the book uh, so that flower from the page that I did before would show through and here I'm just adding a piece of that beautiful velvet ribbon that came with the kit and I did use my heat tool to kind of seal the ends of that ribbon because you saw there that it was fraying a bit. So that's what I'm doing and also heat setting the stamping so I don't smear that again. And I love to wrinkle. This project has a lot of just wrinkle, wrinkled elements to it. And I think it just adds texture and dimension and it's just, it's not the same without it. So don't be afraid to just crumble up something and, and try it. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and that's okay. Um, don't be afraid to just, just try because you can always, you know, redo it. And that beautiful um, bird nest, I cut that off of the front of one of the cards that came in the kit. And then I just added that bird and the dear friend was a stamp in that kit as well. And the flower that I just created is using uh, a new punch. And I think I told you guys that already. So here I am just playing and putting things and moving things just so, until it looked good to me. Those vellum feathers are just so pretty. So I wanted to add a couple more elements from the kit and those metallic uh, birds, those little metal embellishments were in there as well as those little blue flowers. So I wanted to add those and I thought I could use an, one more bird stamp over there. And there's the little blue flower, stuck him down. And then I'm gonna add that little bird And this project came together actually pretty quickly. Um, there I punched a piece from that envelope 
I use that envelope quite a bit and I still have some of it left that I'll use on another project. So I thought just to add a little bit more interest up there in the corner, I'll add that peeking out. Um, I did color that dear friend. It was a whisper white piece and I used my blends, my ivory blends to make it, um, I colored it with the ivory to make it blend a little bit better with my project. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, if you want to leave a message here, please do. If you want to email me, you can do that as well. And you can always find me at myPaperParadise.com. Thank you for watching.